Thursday, mtoto wangu kwanza turned 30. So yeah, I have a 30 year old child. Imagine. <laughs> ha. Wow. Um so I had nothing to give her. Um I unaelewa msoto nation imwezi ilikuwa mbaya. So I struggle with that as usual because ever since she was a child she never missed anything on her birthday uh from me you know what i mean um so kuna watu walikuwa na do zangu na waitisha eh maze in fact there are some even said man it's my daughter's 30th i mean it's, she's turning 30 come on man pay me my money <laughs> But you know Mungu ana mpango zingine noma sana. So so to cut the long story short, siku pare do. So you know 31st ikafika and boom. My daughter turned 30. My eldest daughter. Uh, and I struggled <laughs> with the fact that I couldn't give her anything. Also I thought, you know we we think material, eh? Yeah? So I'm thinking my God, you know it's 30th could have bought her something like you know, you know something profound. To, re- to remind her um you know about you know how profound or my solitude turn 30 so nika by then nika stop so you know what i'm like you know he, he, they can't pass um without me saying something so i i i i sent her a message <laughs> Ah, niko pale maskani nikakaa chini. Nikachukua simu nikamtumia message and I told her I took her way back to when she was maybe four months four months old. And I just talked to her, I just reminded her what it was like, you know, when she was four, uh when she turned um when she turned uh, four years old. Because that was a milestone something happened between the two of us that we you know me and I consider it a milestone um and then reminded her when she became a woman you know let me let me say and Chantal please I'm not embarrassed well it's, a, it's you would understand uh when she had her first piece so and what got me is how she allowed me to witness and to be a part of that um So you know I just I just poured my heart and you know kept talking about those things when she became a teen um when she turned 18 when she went for her for you know for her first dunda <laughs> when she became a mom you know so that's what I told her And I said this is all I can give you mommy. This is all I can give you. Memories, good ones. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't I I I you know I didn't have I didn't manage to get some money to buy you a gift so all I can say is uh happy birthday. And then my 30 year old tells me, "Okay, dad, so here's my question. Uh what time or when?" Are you coming to get your cake? <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. <sighs> All she wanted to know is when I'm going to share her cake with her. Um So listen. If somebody has told you you're a deadbeat father, imagine uskubali and especially if you know you're not. and sometimes in fact most of the times our kids don't need material things really they don't need that they just need you to be there and being there can even be a phone call or text you know they must see that you're involved that irrespective of what your challenges are or where you are emotionally um spiritual physical where you are 
mtoto wako tu anataka kujua tu unamfeel na uko yo there your presence akikuvutia wao utachukua simu yake you pick a call or his call you know just the way you are all she wanted was to know when i'm going to see her cake so guys let's talk huh? let's talk that's all you need to do just talk you're not alone man mm-hmm. you're not alone